Hi, you're welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making this simple shift dress, or you call it easy to wear. Okay, it's straightforward and within a few minutes you're done. Okay, so it's useful for your ready to wear. Honestly, it's good for business. So remember to give it a thumbs up and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, guys, sit tight and enjoy this. So I'll be using this um, African print. It's on food. Remember, the clothes has to be on food. So I'll measure my bust point. My actual bust point is 10 inches, but I'll be using, I'll be marking 10.5 so that I can use the half inch for joining at the shoulder. So 10.5. Then my waistline, I'll be using marking 17 inches, as you can see. Then from the waistline, I went on to measure my hip line. That's distance between my waist and my hip, which is 12 inches. You know, it's a gown. So you can dress rather. Then on the neckline, I measured my 3 inches. Then I measured my shoulder length. Okay. So from the shoulder length, I added my sleeve length, which is 10 inches for the shoulder length. Um, 8 inches plus 2 inches for, okay, it's 10 inches and 2 inches for this um, folding, which is the aiming allowance for the for the um, sleeve okay now from the bust point we are going to we'll go ahead and create the sleeve so from the bust point it depends on how wide you want the sleeve to be so you can just go up by one inch from the bust point or 1.5 so I me mean, i went on by half inch because i will use another half inch to join so if it were to be pattern drafting i'll just go up by one inch okay then i'll fix in my body measurement now my bust round divided by four which is nine inches my waist 7.5 inches and my hip round divided by four which is 9.5 inches so those are my actual body measurements first before i will now add the extra inches so i went ahead and added two inches extra to my bust round Two inches extra to my waist round and also on the hip line two inches extra for my hip round so i'll be connecting this with the straight line just like so okay so after the two inches extra so i just added one inch for seam allowance if you like you can make your seam allowance half inch or you remove it from the extra allowance you added so i just added one inch extra for my seam allowance Okay, so cross-checking my measurements now. So remember, I mark my actual measurement first before adding the extra inches. So, and my seam allowance is one inch. So note that. Okay. So now creating the sleeve properly. The way it's going to be. So you need to create a smooth curve there. How the sleeve join the, the, the bodies. And also on the waistline, Create a smooth curve to avoid sharp edges. Okay, so I'm going to create my neckline now. The neck width is uh, 4 inches by, by 5 inches. Okay, neck width 4 inches, neck depth 5 inches. Then note there's an, if you want an opening in the front and the center front, you measure how deep you want the opening to be. Okay, so I just measured about two and a half inches or three inches. So then I went ahead to measure my the, the gown length. Okay. So it depends on how long or short you want the dress to be. So just you know whatever you have on the hip line, you bring it down to your gown length so that it can be straight. Whatever measurement you have on the hip line, you bring it down to your aiming. Or the gown length so you cut it out carefully okay so this is it for the front piece I'm here to cut off the sleeve the extra uh, inches so I'll use the same pattern the same front pattern to cut out the back the only difference is the neckline okay the only difference is the neckline so for the back piece I'll be using the neck depth of 1.5 inches okay and you know the neck width will be the same thing with the front which is 4 inches okay it should not be too close because there's no zipper 
you know, we are not fixing in a zipper. So allow your neck to be free so that it will be easy to wear. Okay, so this is the neck. This is the back. Um, I've removed the back and this is for the front. So I went on to create the the um, opening at the center front. So this is, watch it carefully, just cut it open this way. So by the time you sew it with the, uh, yes, you sew it down, it will open on itself. So I went ahead to create a facing for the, for my dress. So for the front piece, I'm using the neck facing. So cut it out carefully. I have a video on how to cut uh, a neck facing, so you can watch it out. You can check it out on the channel to know how to cut a facing properly. So you can give it whatever shape you want and just cut it out. But make sure the neckline aligns. Okay? The most important part is make sure the neckline is the same. It aligns with the dress. Then the other part, you can give it whatever shape you want. So I went ahead and opened up the, the facing also. Okay, so I'll do the same thing for the back. Also cut out the facing for the back. So. Okay, so this is the facing for the back. So it's been cut out. You can, you remember I said you can give it any shape. So you can use an um, overlock stitch or you join it. Either way you want to finish the edges. So you go on and sew it. And also the same thing with the front piece. Make sure you secure it with pin first. Before you join it. So I went ahead to join. And also a uh, notch. So the same thing with the front. Also I've joined the facing to the dress. So you go ahead and notch carefully and also the opening. Make sure you notch that part properly. Okay, so the the facing have been fixed. And I also join the front and back shoulder together. So this is the sleeve. It's been folded in. And yeah, this is the dress. Fixing, give it a good press and make sure your facing are well placed inside the dress. Okay, so you can use emmy gum to 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 fix your your emmy to the clothes very well. So we'll go ahead and join this on your the, the actual seam allowance you left. Maybe whether it's one inch or half inch. So you join it carefully. Make sure they are both front and back. The parts are well aligned. So this is it. Then I went ahead to notch the parts, the okay, the waistline, so that I'll be able to fix in a pocket. Okay, so this is the dress. This is the shift dress. Okay, you can try it out. You can look for more colorful um, prints for ready to wear or even your own easy to wear. Okay, so with this, you're good to go. You can embellish it maybe with stones. Yeah, just make it more beautiful and you're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.